What's up, people? Ugh, I can't do this pop socket thing. Sorry, John. I have to set this up on my computer. I haven't adapted to the pop socket um, era. So let's just put this right here. There we go. Perfect. What's up, people? Long time no see. What's up, Kevin? All right. So I have so much to say in like such a short period of time um, because I haven't been on here in so long. But today was a big day for me and John. A very big day for me and John and Titan Medical Center. So today we signed, okay, the biggest deal of our lives. I'm going to just say that because, I mean, every time we excel in Titan Medical Center, we always like go to the next level. This was like the next level of the next level, of the next level. I mean, obviously you can't be stagnant. I understand that, but this is like the next level. So basically we signed off on some contracts and some papers today. And I don't want to give out too much information because it is what it is, but I still want to like, I want to be there in person to show you guys like what, what's what. But we did sign off on a $2 million building today and it's the next step of type medical center. So I'm like super excited about it. And to be totally honest with you, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm honestly like, I'm happy, like super happy, but super, super, super nervous. And I don't know, I guess a certain part of me kind of want to throw up a little bit, just a little bit today, a little bit barf. Um, but I mean, what else are we going to do? We got to do something. So, you know, I've always been like the conservative one and John's always been the, I call him the pusher. And it's because, you know, he's got these big, big, big plans for us. And I'm always the one that's always like, no, 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 we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. And he's the one that's like, yes, we can do it next thing. And I was like, no, 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 we can't do it. We can't do it. I'm too busy. I can't do it. I can't do it. He's like, no, 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 no. Next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So there's the happy medium between the both of us. That's where we make a good team. But um, today was big, guys. Right, Brian? I mean, I can't wait to show you guys this building. How many square feet is it? I think all together. Like There's seven five. units all together, right? Seven and it's in, let me give you a little detail. Okay, so it's in Channel Side. Those of you that are not familiar with the Florida area, this is like downtown Tampa. Downtown Tampa is obviously like an up and coming area. And it's kind of, they're kind of making it like a mini, everybody knows what Miami is, right? I really feel like it's a mini Miami that they're making it into. Because, like, they're making these condos out there that have the glass windows and, like, these really expensive condos out there. And they're I think they're trying to make it into, like, a mini city out there by itself. Because everywhere you go, right, say you go to Chicago, you go to New York, you go to L.A., whatever – all the downtown places that's the place to go that's where all the clubs are at that's where all the food's at that's where all the good shit's at as you go downtown well you come downtown in tampa and there's nothing there but a bunch of like fences and like nothing <laughs> bank of america and like a bunch of banks um it's not the same in tampa but i think they're just making it they're making it much different in tampa i mean people that are in tampa they know but this is like, it's such a big step for us guys. Like I can't even explain in words how excited I am, but scared at the same time, because it's a really big commitment. You know, you're signing off on papers, <laughs> literally signing off. Like the next kin is going off with this, with this signature. You're taking the nexus kin is going with it. Um, but I am excited. It's, it's a total of, I don't know, six, 7,000 square feet, give or take Sorry, something, 8,000 square feet. And it's chopped up into like, I want to say like a 5,000. I could be totally wrong on these numbers, businesses. three businesses. And it's cut into like a five and then like a two and then like a 1500, something like that. But it's, I mean, guys, think about this shit. Okay. So for anybody that's a business owner and say you're not even a business owner, let's just say that you run a business, right? right? Okay. So hear me out now. Thank you guys. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Randy. So, okay. You, you're paying on a lease, right? Now, those of you that know me and know where I come from, I don't come from this kind of mentality. And I know it sounds a little crazy, but I'm being totally honest with you guys. 
I come from the mentality of go get your job, work nine to five and support your family. Keep moving up in the company until you can't go anymore and then retire. Make sure you have a 401k, get your education and be done with it. There wasn't like, like what we're doing right now. This is not like existent. This is, this, this doesn't exist like in my world of growing up. Like my world of growing up was work your nine to five, clock in, clock out, be done. I, I didn't know what it was like to be an entrepreneur. There wasn't many entrepreneurs in my family, like on my mom's side and my dad's side. There is not, I mean, I can't even, let me not even say I can't think of any because I really can't think of any right this very second, but it's just crazy because it's just, it's nuts. I mean, it's crazy. So anyways, think about it like this. Okay. Just think about it like this. So you've got your place, right? That you're paying your landlord on and you got to pay your lease anyway, right? You got to pay for your space. So whether it's 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 10,000, 20,000, depending on how much square footage you have and where you're located, you got to pay your rent, okay? So now we're going to be in a position where we're paying ourselves. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't ask for a better scenario. I'm my own landlord. That's so freaking cool. Come on. That is freaking cool. That's really cool. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When John initially brought this up, like I always do with all of the stuff he brings up, I'm like, uh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Uh, 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 uh. I, I, nope. Mm -mm. Not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I don't want to do it. Because think about it. My plate's already full. I don't have time for anything. So, like, to become my own landlord and, like, somebody else's landlord or, you know, let me go rent out this space and do this and do that. It just, it seems so like so much, you know what I mean? But I guess at some point you do have to realize like, okay, what is going to be the next step? You know, what's going to be the next step? What are you going to do next in your business? You cannot be stagnant. You can't, I, I get that, you know, and a lot of people are scared to take the next step and that includes myself. You know, I'm scared of this move that we're making, but I know we have to do something. Okay. We got to do something. We can't just be in this space forever with the same people, same employees, doing the same shit every day for the rest of my life. Those of you that know me, I work like literally, I work like 16 hours a day. Okay. And you know, you don't, I don't want to do that forever. You know, I, we've been owning a business now for seven years. And usually people that own businesses for seven years, they're not in the daily business every day. They're just not, they're not, that's, it's not, but we're there every day open to close. So I'm, I don't mind doing that cause I love what I do, but that's not like the end game. It's not, you know, so it's, it's, it's really cool. You know, I'm super excited about this move that we have. And I mean, honestly, it like almost brought tears to my eyes today to be able to make this move and be able to do this because we've come such a far, like in such a long journey, guys. I mean, those of you that have seen us grow over the years, I mean, we started the business with 2000 bucks and not one person that believed in us. And at this point, it's not even just a, like we're going the business, but like growing ourselves. Cause this isn't just Thai medical center at this point. Cause we're going to expand other things within this piece of building. Okay. So I'm excited about that. Like, I, I can't express it enough to you guys. So I am excited to tell you guys about that. Um, also, just a little update on my health. I'm doing fine. We just need to take everything out from my belly button down to my knees, and I'll be fine. Um, and then as far as John himself, he's doing awesome, right? He's busy over there, right? <laughs> it's been a super long day for us. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I had to share the good news with you guys. I've been super busy. So, you know, being on social media has just not been my thing, um, unfortunately. And it probably is going to become less and less over the next few weeks. Don't worry. We'll be updating you guys. John will be updating you guys. Um, but me personally, I, I have a lot going on. So I, I'll hop on here when I can. But I have to share this with you guys. All right. So talking about being an entrepreneur and what you grow up from and what you're taught and all this other stuff because 
I feel like more people, they come from, obviously everybody comes from a different background, right? So like, you know, me and John, I tell people this all the time because we make a great team because of this, all right? Is that he comes from a family of entrepreneurs and I come from a family of nine to fives. My dad wasn't even a nine to five. My dad was literally like a nine to five, a six to 10, and then a 10 to three. That was my dad, you know, cause we had to make ends meet. They barely can make ends meet. So sometimes when he tells me things like this, I'm kind of like, yeah, right. You know, that's my reaction. Literally, that's what I say. And it sounds ridiculous, but I mean, that's what I say. I'm not even lying to you guys. I'm being totally honest. So, you know, now we have our son, Peter. He's 10 years old. And, you know, most like this 10 year old thing, man, I'm telling you, man, these 10 year olds, they're like, they're like 16. They're really like 16 years old and they got this little TikTok thing with a little app and they're all going on this little app and like following each other and shit. It's like Instagram and it's just, it's a scary digital world out there. So anyways, I come home, Peter's downstairs and he's eating his dinner or whatever. And he's talking about, cause he's doing, you know, his baseball, he's doing his soccer, he's doing his basketball. And listen, at the end of the day, thanks Jerome. What's up everybody? Um, at the end of the day, guys, and you guys should all preach this to your kids. And I was preached this when I was a kid. It doesn't matter how good you are at sports. Okay. I don't care if you play the best spot on the best team of whatever. If you don't have your grades straight, you will not be playing sports. You won't. So I told Peter, I'm like, listen, I'm like, you got to make sure that you got your books straight and they're able to do your homework and all this other stuff or you will not be playing sports. So anyways, long story short, he goes into this like story about like some kid that, you know, was talking shit to him or whatever or about whatever, whatever, whatever. But this is what I'm getting to at this point. This is kind of where it comes into play that, you know, we have different perspectives on, you know, how we want to raise our kids out there, what we tell our kids to do, what's white, what's right, what's wrong, what I did when I was a kid versus like what's right nowadays, you know, because listen, when I was a kid, I mean, I didn't have much to lose. So, I mean, you said something to me. I mean, it probably wasn't going to go very well for you and I didn't care. And that's just what it was, but he can't be that way. You know, he just can't. And now I, you know, over the years you have to become more mature and you have to Think about your future and what you have to lose because every single year that's went by, I've realized that we have more and more to lose. So you have to think about what you do before you do it. Now, I can't say I always do that. I've become much better at thinking before I do because I used to not do that at all, right? <laughs> but nowadays, I'm able to pass that on to Peter. And I definitely want to make sure that he thinks before he does. So, you know, it's important that you guys tell your kids to do the right thing and to make sure that they're not getting bullied out there or whatever the hell is going on. Because I'm telling you, it's kind of crazy out there. It's a little crazy, especially when you're a business owner, you're not always home all the time. So, you know, it's, it's harder to kind of do things like that and, you know, raise your kids the right around 24 hours a day. So me and John do our best to make sure we're at all the important events and we do what we got to do to make it happen. So anyways, guys, I had to share with you guys, you know, what an amazing day we've had and how excited I am for this next journey. And we will be expanding to do some other things. We already have, you know, John's got the clothing line going and obviously we have the business with the medical office going and we're going to be having some other things we're going to add on such as what would we say five top things i would say the big one of the biggest things that's coming out especially for patients and anywhere else that wants biggest to thing coming out is our new type medical center programs which will be through an app which will oh yeah can i release soon. that yeah it's coming soon so on top of the fact that we got a $2 million building today, signed off on, boom, boom, we are coming out with an app. How exciting. On that app, it's going to show you different meal plans. So it's going to be able to customize meal plans. Customize meal plans. You. 
So to you, you. Allergies or whatever it may be, or you want to go on keto diet or uh, exercises. It tells you how to do exercises. It's gonna have full exercise training programs. It'll be it's good for people that really injuries. don't know what the hell they're doing, like myself. That'd be totally a great app for me. Great app for me. Guys, you know what, too? I must say this while I'm on here because it was super cool, and I don't think I've shared this with anybody. So we do, obviously, we can test anything via blood, right? But John's been pushing on me for, like, ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I finally decided to go do it. So we decided to go ahead and do the allergy testing. Now, this was very interesting because we did the it's, – it's called food allergy testing, but it's really like a food sensitivity. I don't want to call it an allergy because an allergy to me is you have to take Benadryl or you're going to die. Okay. But we just did that. We did a food allergy testing. And honestly, I, after doing it, because of course I'm one of those people that I, I have to become like a believer in what the deal is before I like preach it. That's just how I am. But this happens to be one of those things. So I just so happened to be in a, come on in. Um, I just so happened to test my blood and in my blood, it go ahead and it shows me that I'm allergic to yeast. And I'm like, okay, well, what the hell is in, like, what does, what consists of yeast? You know, like what is yeast in that I shouldn't be eating? So of course it's like risen bread, yogurt, all these other fun things I like to eat. So whenever you eat it, it makes you not feel good. Bloated, make you retain water, make you feel nauseous, not feel good, tired, like shit. So Honestly, guys, I think everybody should have a food sensitivity test done. I do think you should pick and choose the foods that you're going to have tested because I think you should pick and choose the ones that you actually eat. So that way it can show what you're eating. So if you eat chicken, rice, eggs, you know, fish, steak, bananas, whatever, you can literally pick and choose what you want and then see what you're what you're like hypersensitive to. Because if you think about it, I can't even count on my fingers and toes how many people will reach out to us. And I mean, they've been on a program. Everything is going to be perfect. I, you know, I've been eating right. I've been dieting. I've been doing my exercises. I'm on top of my A game. I'm taking all my stuff. And, you know, I just still, you know, I got, I got, I got to lose some, some weight and I feel like better, but I don't feel like I think I should feel, or I'm still feeling bloated. I can't, you know, lose my belly fat or whatever it is. So you know, I think that that's something that everybody should look into, to be honest with you. So there's going to be a lot of the different things we're going to be able to offer at this medical center. This is something that we actually do offer now. Um, but there's an abundance of things we're going to be able to offer at this new location. I'm super excited, scared, and um, nervous about this location. But I think that with me and John and our team, because I do have a pretty badass team behind us, um, with our team behind us, I think we'll be able to do it. Also, while I'm on here, I am going to go ahead and say this much. I, we, Titan Medical Center, we are hiring. I do want to say, I know that I look like this really nice person. And I'm such a nice person. And I'm like the coolest person you'll ever meet. You catch me in that office and I am like the drill sergeant master. I am not like your, like, I feel, I just, I feel like I need to put this information out there because I feel that some people apply for the position because they want to like hang out and have a good time and yeehaw. Okay. It doesn't go down like that. Okay. Outside of Titan Medical Center, let's do it. Let's have a good time. Let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's go hit the town. Ba, ba, ba. Inside that medical center, drill, sergeant, master, time. Boom, boom, boom. We're running a military camp. So anybody that you guys do decide to send on over to us or anybody that decides to apply for the position that I'm about to put out on Facebook and social media, please make sure that you're serious about the position because you will never survive. I've done this video before where I've told people that I'm like super OCD about things and I like things done correctly and I'm very, very specific about things. But I don't think you really get it until you're like there. And then you're like, oh, wow. Damn, she's being serious. Yeah, she's being serious. For instance, if you don't know how to spell, you don't know how to connect data births, you don't know how to copy names, you don't know how to listen on the phone, do not apply for the job. Don't apply. Don't come there. You will not last more than two weeks. Don't come. Don't send anybody that cannot do that. Those people need to go work at Pizza Hut. 
Maybe not even there because I like Pizza Hut and I don't like when my pizza is messed up. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Send those people to Dillard's and they can mess up on the registers. But I'm telling you guys, man, it is not to mess around. We are, we are a medical office. You cannot have people messing up date of births or messing up names or misspelling things or not listening to what people are telling you while you're on the telephone or whatever because it's just it's then you just make us look bad and i don't like looking bad so i'm letting you guys know if you guys know somebody that's like super detail oriented they will make such a great part of this team and we will treat them so good and they will get paid very well anybody outside of that if you can't pay attention to detail i know all you guys every time everybody's in interviews they're all like, oh my God, I can pay such good attention to detail. I have OCD. That's a, that's a big one. I have OCD. You should see my house. Everything is so perfect. And da, da, da. Okay. Skirt. The same girl that said she had OCD in her house is leaving a yogurt and an open banana on my counter. Somebody that has OCD doesn't do that. They don't do that. Okay. That bothers them to walk by something and it looks bad. Or it's all over the place. So I'm just, I'm being totally honest with you guys. I swear to God, everybody says that in every single interview. What up? What up? What up, Jamal? Um, they all say it in every interview. Every single one of them. I'm so OCD. I have everything down. I pay attention to detail, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So at this point, mm, I think it should just be, I think it should just be, you know, a working interview. And, you know, you either got it or you don't. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? I just think it's simple. Just make it simple and easy. Because we are expanding. I'm going to need to hire. And you know what? We can't have dead weight on the team. So um, if you know somebody good, send them to me. I'll make sure to take good care of them. Um, but don't send me anybody stupid. Because I can't do stupid people. And neither can my patients. My patients don't have patience for people that don't have their shit together. So anyways, that's my little powwow on the... Uh, don't send me stupid people to hire at Titan Medical Center. And we are expanding. So we definitely can't have people that don't have their shit together at Titan Medical Center. And send me people that you know. Anyways, I got to bounce because... What's up, what's up, Brian? No. Um, I got to get some rest. I don't even know how I'm going to sleep after this amazing day of signing. But I can't wait to show all you guys this amazing building. It's so beautiful. It's so awesome. Um... I can't wait to see what's in store for us over the next few weeks. And I will keep you guys posted, even though I suck at going live on social media. I will try to go live and show you guys the next time I go in there so you guys can see what it looks like because it's pretty dope. Anyways, guys, um, if you guys do need anything from me, inbox me and I'll probably respond in like a week. I'm kidding. I'll respond in like four days. <laughs> Anyways. Mwah! I miss you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. We couldn't do it without a lot of you guys because a lot of you people are our supporters, our pushers. You guys have been there for us. Um, Josh, Jenny, you guys are awesome. Um, anyways, I'm emotional, so I'm going to leave. Okay. See ya. Bye.